Did you know that a wolf can eat 20 pounds of meat in a single meal? That's like a human eating 100 hamburgers in one go. Wolves, these intriguing creatures, are a marvel of nature, exhibiting a complex blend of power, intelligence, and social organization. Found in a variety of habitats across the globe, from the icy tundra of the Arctic to the scorching deserts of Arizona, wolves are extremely adaptable and resourceful. Their behavior is nothing short of fascinating. Wolves are pack animals, living in family groups of about four to seven individuals on average. Their packs are hierarchical, with an alpha male and female leading the group. This structure plays a key role in their survival, especially when it comes to hunting. Hunting strategies employed by wolves are a testament to their intelligence and teamwork. They employ various tactics, from surrounding their prey to taking turns chasing it, working together seamlessly to bring down animals much larger than themselves. It's truly a sight to behold. But their intelligence extends far beyond hunting. Wolves communicate in sophisticated ways, using a combination of vocalizations, body language, and even scent marking to convey complex messages to each other. They express emotions, maintain social order, and even teach their young through these means. And their role in the ecosystem? It's absolutely crucial. As apex predators, wolves help maintain balance in the food chain, controlling populations of herbivores and thus indirectly influencing the vegetation and landscape of their habitats. Yet, despite their reputation as ruthless hunters, wolves are surprisingly caring family members. They care for their young, the sick, and the elderly, showcasing a side of them that's often overlooked in the face of their predatory prowess. So, wolves are not just apex predators, but also intelligent creatures with a complex social structure. They are a testament to the intricacy of life in the wild, a symbol of the raw, untamed beauty of nature. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the world of these fascinating animals and explore the mighty Kangals in our next segment. Now let's shift gears to another majestic creature, the Kangal. This dog breed is so powerful that it can take down a wolf, and yet it's known for its gentle nature towards humans. Originating from the Sivas province in Turkey, the Kangal has a long and storied history. These dogs were bred for a singular purpose, to protect. Whether it's a herd of sheep or a family of humans, Kangals have been guardians for centuries. Their muscular build and commanding presence make them perfect for this role. Kangals are not just brawn, they are also quite brainy. They have a high level of intelligence, which pairs well with their natural protective instincts. This combination of strength and smarts makes them formidable guardians indeed. But what about their speed? Well, Kangals can reach speeds of up to 30 miles per hour. That's faster than the average human sprinter. This speed, coupled with their strength, makes them capable of taking down threats much larger than themselves, including wolves. Yet despite their physical prowess, Kangals are known for their gentle nature, especially towards their human families. They exhibit a deep sense of loyalty and devotion. Kangals are known to form strong bonds with their families and they are incredibly gentle with children. Their protective instincts extend to their human family, making them not just pets but also protectors. But don't let their gentle nature fool you. When it comes to defending their flock or family, Kangals can be fiercely protective. They are not aggressive without cause, but if they perceive a threat, they will not hesitate to use their strength and speed to protect those they care about. It's this balance of power and gentleness that makes the Kangal such a fascinating breed. They are more than just dogs. They are guardians, protectors, and companions. They are a testament to the incredible bond that can form between humans and animals, a bond built on mutual respect and trust. Kangals might look intimidating, but they are actually gentle giants with a heart of gold. It's time to address the elephant in the room. Who would win in a fight, a wolf or a Kangal? This is a question often asked in hushed whispers and debated in forums all over the internet. But today we're diving right in. Let's find out. First, let's talk about the wolf. Wolves are wild animals and their survival instincts are second to none. They're known for their agility, cunning, and pack mentality. Their strength lies in their numbers and the coordinated strategies they employ when hunting. They're quick, agile, and have a bite force of around 400 pounds per square inch. That's like having a small car come crashing down on you. Not something you want to experience, right? However, wolves also have their weaknesses. They're not as large or as physically powerful as a Kangal. A lone wolf, without the support of its pack, is at a significant disadvantage. Wolves also tend to avoid conflicts unless necessary, so they may retreat from a fight if they feel threatened or outnumbered. 
Now, let's turn our attention to the Kangal. These dogs are bred for protection. They're larger, heavier, and physically stronger than most wolves. They have a bite force that can reach up to 700 pounds per square inch, nearly twice that of a wolf. They're courageous, tenacious, and fiercely protective of their flock. But Kangals too have their weaknesses. They may be strong, but they lack the agility and speed of a wolf. This can put them at a disadvantage in a chase or if they need to outmaneuver an opponent. They also don't have the benefit of pack tactics like wolves do. In a one-on-one -on -one fight, a Kangal might have the upper hand, but against a pack of wolves, the odds might not be in their favor. So, who would win in a fight? Well, it's not so straightforward. In a one-on-one -on -one battle, a Kangal might have the edge due to its superior size and strength. However, against a pack of wolves, the Kangal would likely be outnumbered and outmaneuvered. Real-life encounters between wolves and Kangals often end in a standoff. Both parties are wary of each other and usually prefer to avoid a fight if possible. After all, in the wild, injuries can mean the difference between life and death. But in situations where a Kangal is protecting its flock, it won't back down, even against a pack of wolves. So, it's not a clear-cut win for either party, and it all boils down to the specific circumstances. Each animal has its strengths and weaknesses, and the outcome of a fight would depend on many factors. But one thing is for sure. Both wolves and Kangals are incredible creatures, each deserving of our respect and admiration. But the real question isn't about who would win in a fight, but who makes the better guardian of the flock? Let's dive into this fascinating topic, shall we? Wolves and Kangals, both extraordinary creatures, have different ways of protecting their territories and flocks. Wolves with their sharp instincts and pack mentality are natural protectors. They use strategic planning, teamwork, and their deeply ingrained survival instincts to fend off threats. Imagine a pack of wolves, their eyes glinting in the moonlight, standing guard over their territory. They work in perfect harmony, each member of the pack knowing their role and position. They're not just guardians, they're strategists, each action calculated and purposeful. On the other hand, we have the mighty Kangals. These dogs are known for their brute strength and fearless nature. They are the shepherds of the animal kingdom, always ready to put their lives on the line for their flocks. Unlike wolves, Kangals do not rely on pack strategy. Instead, they use their size and intimidating presence to keep potential threats at bay. These dogs are like the sentinels of the animal world, standing tall and vigilant, their loyalty unwavering. When it comes to effectiveness, it's a tough call. Wolves, with their intricate strategies and cooperation, can manage larger territories and fend off multiple threats simultaneously. Kangals, with their sheer strength and unwavering courage, can handle direct confrontations and are particularly effective in one-on-one -on -one scenarios. But let's remember, these creatures aren't pitted against each other in nature. They both have their own territories and flocks to guard. Each has adapted beautifully to their environment and their roles, becoming the best guardians they can be in their own unique ways. Whether it's the strategic wolf pack working in unison under the moonlit sky, or the solitary Kangal standing tall and fearless, both are remarkable guardians in their own right. They are a testament to nature's variety and adaptability, each playing their part in the grand scheme of things. Both wolves and Kangals have their own unique ways of protecting their kin and territory, making them both formidable guardians in their own right. So, wolves and Kangals, two incredible creatures with their own unique strengths and characteristics. We've journeyed through their worlds, immersing ourselves in the intriguing realm of wolves, creatures known for their pack mentality and survival skills. We've also marveled at the mighty Kangals, their strength and bravery unparalleled, standing as the stalwart protectors of their flocks. In the face-off, we saw these majestic animals display their prowess, each bringing a unique set of skills to the table. As guardians, both have their own way of defending their territory, showing us that nature indeed has a balance of its own. But remember, these are not creatures to be feared but respected. Their roles in our ecosystem are critical and they each hold a special place in the tapestry of life. And that's a wrap. If you enjoyed this face-off between wolves and kangals, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more exciting content. Remember, we're all about celebrating the fascinating world of animals. Stay curious, stay wild.